a suit, and a necktie. Hard to think of a more classic combo, right? But what do you do if you want to look laid back in your suit? How do you actually pull off a suit without a tie? There are some big mistakes you need to avoid in order to make this combination work. Not to worry, gents. Thomas with Real Men Real Style here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to rock a suit without a tie. So to start off, let's cover those mistakes you need to avoid. Mistake number one, choosing the wrong suit. The suit is the foundation of this outfit, so the suit you choose is actually very important. To start, stick with a single-breasted jacket with two buttons. A three-button jacket and a double-breasted jacket are both very buttoned-up, formal looks and are very difficult to pull off without a tie. As well, the colors and patterns you choose matter. A formal suit in a dark color can work fine without a tie, but brighter colors and patterns help bring down the formality of the suit, which fits well with this more casual combination. I also recommend avoiding striped suits. These are traditionally worn in business and look out of place without a tie. Mistake number two, choosing the wrong shirt. The shirt you choose is just as important as the suit you wear when dropping the necktie. You can choose to stick with a solid color dress shirt, but some subtle patterns will add some much needed visual interest to the outfit. As well, you don't even have to stick with just dress shirts. Feel free to pair your suit with an Oxford button down, a turtleneck, or even a sharp polo shirt. Mistake number three, choosing the wrong collar style. I recommend choosing a spread collar instead of a traditional point collar. The point collar is designed to be worn with a necktie, but the spread collar is more versatile because it looks great with a tie, but the wider points neatly tuck out of the way when you're choosing to skip the tie. Mistake number four, don't be too buttoned up. When skipping a tie, you need to pay attention to how much you're buttoning the shirt. Buttoning your shirt up all the way makes it painfully obvious that something is missing. Make sure the top button is unfastened. But honestly, even this can look a little stuffy. For this reason, I recommend unfastening two buttons. It makes you look relaxed and laid back. Unless you have massive confidence, stick with the two buttons. Going for three buttons starts to show a lot of skin. It's not a great choice for a more conservative setting. Mistake number five, wearing a floppy collar. A key part of looking great when going tieless is a strong collar. A weak floppy collar that falls underneath the jacket just isn't gonna cut it. Make sure the shirt has collar stays, which will give it structure. And if you want a collar that's gonna stay up all day long, look for a device like the slick collar. Mistake number six, showing that undershirt. The point of skipping your necktie is to look suave and relaxed. The quickest way to shoot yourself in the foot is to have your undershirt gaping out. You'll look like a dweeb. So instead of a white crew neck, choose an undershirt that has a deep neckline that will remain hidden when you undo those top buttons. Mistake number seven, forgetting the accessories. The necktie adds a pop of color that pulls the whole outfit together. Without that, your suit and shirt can start to look a bit plain. Offset this by taking advantage of all the other accessories at your disposal. The key one is to throw in a pocket square. If you want to keep it simple, go with a white presidential fold, but if you want something a little more interesting, there are a lot flashier colors and fold types to choose from. As well, you can throw on a lapel pin, and definitely don't forget to add a great looking dress watch. Now that we've covered the mistakes you need to avoid, here's some outfit combinations for inspiration. Outfit number one, sweater weather. For look number one, I chose a white dress shirt with a subtle blue stripe. Next, I added a navy blue mock neck sweater with a button top. This sweater has a sleek design that pairs nicely with the suit. Next up is the accessories. First, a blue pocket square with a small repeating pattern in a two-point fold. Then I added a simple dress watch with a white dial, silver case, and a brown leather strap. For footwear, I selected a pair of quarter brogues in a dark brown color. Outfit number two, turtleneck season. This is a perfect choice for when the weather turns cool and you want that laid back look. I chose a red turtleneck instead of a dress shirt, then added a red pocket square with a small repeating pattern in a puff fold. For the watch, I selected a black chronograph with a silver case in a black leather strap. For footwear, I chose a pair of black dress shoes in a wingtip design. Outfit number three, polo time. I dressed down the final outfit by choosing a navy polo shirt in a merino wool fabric. I wanted a strong pop of color, so I chose a green pocket square with a polka dot pattern in a scallop fold. For the watch, I selected a dive watch with a black dial and stainless steel case and band. For the footwear, I kept it casual with a pair of black leather dress sneakers. So gents, what's your favorite way to wear a suit without a tie? Let me know in the comments below. Now you know how to pull off this look like a boss. But what about pairing jeans with a blazer? Don't worry gents, I've got you in this video right here where I'm going to cover all the secrets for rocking jeans with a blazer. 